It is Saturday and right now it's currently 7 a.m. in the morning and I know you're wondering why the fuck am I whispering but that's because it's 7 a.m. My husband's over there and he's snoring away. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> I'm on a mission to try and wake up earlier under Daisy's standards because little birdie told me because birds love me that millionaires Bellionaires wake up so early so that when I get busy because I have moments when I get really busy and then I don't get busy that it's under my standards me Daisy gets up because Daisy wants to get up and she wants to give Daisy her time for the day because now I'm being run by something else by the world and I don't want that I want to wake up beforehand hours beforehand so Daisy can have Daisy's moment I can do whatever to get me started to get me into the groove if i have to sit in silence i do that i write down what i'm grateful for i have my coffee i take my time getting dressed i take my time doing my makeup if i'm doing makeup i do what i want to do that is one thing i wanted to change for this new year 2021 i'm excited about that besides they also say if you want things to be different you have to be willing to do something different this is hope you guys are starting up the, your new year the way you want to under your terms my outfit i will show you in a minute although it's fucking cold today in new york city it's hard to look cute when you have to layer up the death okay let me get away from this weird angle you're probably sick of seeing my face is close up because i sure as hell am it is no joke outside so today it is not a runway for me <laughs> let me stop i decided to look like santa's little latina elf helper i don't know it's bringing me santa vibes you know christmas vibes but who says it can't be christmas all year long i got my faux fur japar i think i don't know don't worry about it i will link everything down in my description box i can never remember where this coat is from and i don't know something looks off here i gotta fix this but yeah this is pretty much it i'm wearing the heaviest knit hat that i have i'm wearing leather pants under which you can't see right now let's see where we go and we'll take it from here and i will show you nyc a day in the life of Daisy T. OMG, let me get out of here. I became a rapper. I feel like I got a stalker behind me. Ah, uh, there's nothing like New York City subway station. Welcome to 34th Street. Wow, I haven't been to 34th Street in a long time. You know, obviously because of the pandemic. Oh man. Has it changed? Wow, it looks like... I mean, it wasn't the cutest place ever, but it looked even worse. I mean, it was never like beautiful. Man, walking through there today, I felt like I caught a new disease. It was so disgusting. Wow, so scary to see it like that and so gross and sad. by Terry Birch. Beautiful. People and even coffee. I'm ready for my coffee. Let's go get coffee. My first designer handbag unboxing of 2021. I bought a new Marc Jacobs handbag. Let's get into it, bitches. Hey! I know what you're thinking. This doesn't say Marc Jacobs, but I didn't get it from Marc Jacobs website officially. I ended up buying it or purchasing it from a different website because they were on sale one of my prior videos i mentioned what colors i actually wanted it next if i was privy enough to get my paws on them and one of the colors is right in my fingertips so, ah! 
my new baby to add to my collection and you probably already know what type of bag it is because I've been showing it left and right on my channel but this is my new baby so let me get her out so she can introduce herself to the world Look at my gorgeous new baby. This is the Snapshot Camera Bag in red. Cue in the fucking party music! Aye. That's right, bitches. I got my hands on the new red. This is my new baby. This was on sale. I think it was down to $225. And these bags are normally $325, $425. I also saw it in like a baby blue color. And I got to see the baby blue color in person. By the time I did see the baby blue one, I had already purchased this. So a beautiful color, but I never really thought of having a baby blue. But when I saw it, I thought it was really beautiful. And it's the standard small one that I love. And it literally feels really light and compact i personally love small bags i really love them i love how they look i don't like to carry big things unless i have to like i'm working or something like that and i have to bring a bigger bag but other than that i really don't like it this is the perfect size for me the mark jacob logo going on in the front these are the j's for jacob upside down and then you have the strap here and I made sure that if I was going to buy a new Marc Jacobs bag that these have the removable strap where I can go ahead and purchase another one if I get bored with it or want to have fun with it or I just want the option to be able to change it in the future or if you never know if it actually does get ruined and I need to change it. I rock these bags so much. I will be the type of person that will get sick of it because I, I actually really do rock them and put them to use. If and when that happens, I can go ahead and remove the strap and change the color or prints or whatever have you that goes with this red just to liven it up and freshen it up if I want to. The straps, sometimes they are actually on sale. They normally run for 85 from what I've seen. But I've also seen them on sale and I didn't grab them because the ones that I did see on sale didn't go with the handbags that I have and or I didn't like them so I didn't purchase them but we have your standard two pocket compartment here. This is the bigger part of the purse. It's enough to carry my keys, my phone, I usually have my small mic, a small tripod, my mask. I usually put it here in this pocket, this compartment right here because it's just a flat one. This is a big hit for Marc Jacobs. They're so beautiful and I love the fact that they're very durable, very New York City. Like if I drop them, it won't like fall apart on me. It feels rugged, like it can take a lot, it can take a lot of beating. I knew I wanted to get something like this, a red bag. I don't have any red. To me, what makes this bag is one, the colors, the size of it, the fact that it is sporty slash edgy slash streetwear type of vibe. The whole thing with the straps is what makes this for me. This type of color, this type of handbag is the type of handbag that I can wear every freaking day. Come the weekend, since we don't do shit anymore, is when you will see me sporting all of these bags that I have. Yeah, she's my new baby. I have to think of a name for her, so if you have any suggestions, <laughs> let me know down below. What the fuck are you waiting for? It's time for you to subscribe to my channel. Dale un like. Y dale la camarada, porque se puede hacer una información.